Hey everyone, we are back trying out the Pufferfish Haley deck. Um, and we're up against Palana, so this should be interesting because we do want to draw a lot of cards. Uh, we do have draw in our opening hand, plus we have Puffer, but we need to find all the other bits to go with it. Um, so we'll keep. And our opening hand, our opening turn is going to be a little clunky. We have to click for credits. Maybe click for two credits, put down Laguna and Beth. And then draw. Uh, it's not ideal, but we'll see what we can do. So if you didn't catch the last video, this is similar to one of the good decks at Worlds. Uh, but we're putting in Puffer, obviously, which is probably making the deck an awful lot worse. Um, we have uh, Hyperdriver to try and get our setup going. And other good bits and pieces like that. So, they are showing us a pretty dangerous deck. Hedge Fund, Kagugo, Miraju, Prysec, Tithonium. A lot of cards we don't, a lot of things we don't want to run into. Um, going with a tag based. Tithonium's dangerous. Kagugo is annoying always. <laughs> so instead, we're going to click for two credits. We're going to... We could draw once. Should probably have drawn first, just in case we draw a hedge fund. Um, sure we'll do it. Okay, just step back. That's fine. And we'll put down these two. And now hopefully Beth will get us either money or another click. That's what we're kind of banking on at the moment. So price X is a dangerous one, especially with things like Kagugo. Possibly playing, um, I've forgotten the name of the card that forces you to put two cards on top of your stack from your hand data loop data loop that's the one i know that runner um but yeah we're hoping to avoid running into too many things i think we just click for five credits here i don't know if drawing is going to actually find us that much that's useful right now so one better than the anarch sure gamble and next turn now we have a bit more setup going we can start getting our draw power going and try to set up something fast enough. Looks like they're going already. Tithonium is very dangerous for us here with our dependency on resources. But that could just be a price act. Could be a brain trust as well. Um, draw. Let's draw again. Yeah, this is better. Okay, so Deg Deer. Install a hyperdriver on it. Uh, we'll gain a credit and we'll put down a daily cast. So we should have five clicks next turn and plus three more. And that should allow us to get going. Uh, but it looks like we're going to be rushed out here. Uh, so let's take our clicks. So eight clicks, three credits. Let's draw. That's good. Not quite how we want to spend our turn. Clicking for credits. Uh, let's draw again. Fan side is useful. So we're going to have to take credits. Got to credit this. Now things are kind of clunky. Misdirection, probably not all that useful for us. Um... If we draw again, we end up with 10 cards. Has to be done. Go aggressive. Go big or go home. Let's put down a SMC. Let's install Puffer on this. And then let's do fan side, I think. Get rid of this and get rid of probably misdirection. I know they've shown us a tag. Um, but I think they're not going to be all in on tags. Hopefully not an easy, but it's going to be a three-pointer. Oh, we got a protocol. That is fine for them to score first. And now let's... Hmm. We've paperclip in the bin, but we don't have any sack -ons, so let's draw. There's a sack -on. We're getting a lot of clunky draws at the moment. If we draw again, we end up at nine. It's very clunky all around. Okay, we're going to have to install one by one, unfortunately. 
So let's get. Or we could go for HQ. If it's Kagugo, we can get Paperclip. No, we can't get that at the same time. Blah, 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 blah. Let's just do this on its own. This on its own. And gain a credit. Pitch the other Astrolabe. Pitch the Levy. So we've access to all our breakers at least. And the Tapworm in hand. If anything, we could just run archives, get our Gordian Blade, get our Tapworm. Right, they are going for this then. If we piece in our time, we can't run it. We don't play Film Critic. So really, we just have to soak up the damage, take the price hack as well. Cry a little bit. Mm, we can eat a little bit of damage. We certainly have to make them spend something. Puffer's going to be expensive if it's a... Hmm. Interesting. Ah, Gene Splicer. Interesting. So we lost two cards. Not too bad. Prysac. It's Tapworm, of course. <laughs> Move tag. And... Draw. Take a credit. Hey, look. Feedback filter. That could have been useful. So now, Tapworm in the bin. That's not what we wanted. Celebrity Gift is going to show us hopefully some good things. Improved Protein Source, along with two snares and a Future Perfect. So this is kind of like uh, Baokun's puzzle the other day of, you know, you can run how many cards do you access without hitting a snare? All that kind of thing. This is going to be very useful though. So we'll do this. Let's draw. Let's draw again because a lot of useless cards there. Mm, another dig deer. Doesn't do a lot for us. Another piece of hardware. Um, I think we're just going to have to do boring one-off installs again. Really not getting our use of Haley's ability. Alternatively, we leave it a turn. You can draw more. Pitch these two. Pitch a dig deer or a self modifying code. Uh, yep, this is better. So, super aggressive drawing has found us what we needed. Um, maybe keep a dig deer because it can get us a hyper driver. Mm, self modifying code. Is it more useful or less useful? Um, do we actually get rid of Shore Gamble despite worrying about card draw, or do we get rid of an indexing? I think actually the rest of our hand might be better. If we can get a dig deer down, that will allow us to SMC for Hyperdriver, put on a lot more pressure. Now we do have to make successful runs just in case of shipping from Tenon. We don't want to give them easy scores. Um, so, let us see, let's money, draw, mad dash is useful, uh, so let's put this down, and then let's indexing, and then our last click can be run, and we shouldn't have to worry about anything because of indexing, of course this could be Mirage, no it is not, excellent. It's going to be expensive for us, however, but hopefully worth it. Uh, this is less than useful. Future Perfect is not great, but we can make them flood their hand. So we'll put this very far away, put this very far away, this further down, this, and then this. Uh, we'll run r &D again. It's going to be a little expensive. A 
I think we pay one. No, they spent two. Okay. And yeah, not having tap worm is very hurtful. But once we get our colony down, or sorry, shadow net down, we at least have access to some Jorg Ambles. So they've installed something into server one. Could be a future perfect. It's a shadow net for a short gamble. Um, we can check out HQ, but snare could be detrimental. I think checking out archives is okay, just to prevent the shipment from tenon. And then we'll put down a deg deer, which we can use next turn for hyperdriver. So, only one snare left in hand. Looks like that would be the place to go. Uh, we might install as well. Install. Whoops. <laughs> install Gordian while we're here. So now, plenty of clicks. Draw, draw. Two seconds is a little less useful now, but could be helpful at some point. We haven't used too much economy, too short gambles. Uh, let's draw again. We can install another hyperdriver. That'll be useful. Now let's run HQ. Get them to spend some money. Mirage you. Uh, they have infinite money, unfortunately. So they can get rid of one agenda from hand. But running at this constantly won't help us. You'd imagine improv improved protein source will go. We see Chiashi. Sack on, sack on, credit. Next turn we'll try and finish off our setup. And we will need to levy at some point very, very soon. So unfortunately they are able to get rid of stuff slowly but surely. Biased reporting. Oof. Um, okay, we'll leave them have infinite money then. 44 credits. We really need to get our hands on that uh, tapworm. Okay, um, draw. So another indexing. Which we might as well go for. Although we've seen a lot of agendas in HQ. Wow, this is pretty bad. Um, this will put them on four points, so I think we actually need to take it out. Put Mirage down a bit. This down a bit. Biased. Ugh. Brutal. 
So I'll run again just to trash this. Finding lots more resources that we can't really use. Let's draw our last card, which is Clot, and take a credit. So on the plus side, if they do score another agenda, uh, we can do an awful lot more with two fan sites. Unfortunately, if they don't, we're in a lot of trouble. So they're already, or and is fairly exciting. Running server one might be worthwhile. I'd have to imagine another, another Mirage there. Hmm. Suddenly I regret binning the levy and not having a fallback. So they're going to be able to shuffle a lot. But we did see multiple agendas in HQ. Oops. Uh, oops. Oops. Work away. Now the question is, do if we do get an agenda, do we go all in on the Levying. We may have to at some point. Just see bias reporting. Not that exciting for us. Unfortunately, our stomach is in the bin as well, because that could have been useful with uh, this server as it currently is. I imagine we have a price egg and probably a Mark's Batty in there as well. Question is, is one agenda in there too? Well, now it certainly is. So they're quietly confident. I think we have to go for it. If we let them score, we get stuff back, obviously. But we could be in a lot of trouble. So Chiashi, it's going to be expensive. It's going to cost us seven. If this whiffs, you know, at least we went for it. Possibly Tithonium. Indeed. Which will cost us another four. And now we have to look forward to the Batty Psy game. I think we spent two here. Sweet. Do they have another one? No, they do not. Improve protein source. Great. So we have money and three points on the board. They get a price hack off it. Which will trash. We will. Remove tag. Gain three credits. It will be galling if we have to sack a three-pointer, though. That is the thing. And their money is right back up again. Hmm. 37 credits. So if we run HQ a couple of times, they can draw and shuffle something. They will be able to draw and shuffle the same card. The alternative is we run here, let the Mirage fire here, run through this. I think we take a look at R&D. Let Mirage fire, 
Hope we get lucky with one. And it looks like Mad Dash is not going to be of use to us. Celebrity gift. Okay. They don't need the money though, so them not playing us won't show us actually anything. Now we do have to hope that two snares have gone in the bin, because that means they can do less mind games with the gene splicer. Of course it's going to be really expensive to trash any gene splicer they do draw. Hmm, well, not much we can do about that. I think we check HQ, let it fire, and then take four credits. The alternative is we go all in, we sacrifice this for a levy. Ah, that is also bad for us. Um, that is very bad for us. So if they can get a th another three-pointer scored, or at least installed and advanced, uh, they can use that as well. If we levy here, we give ourselves a chance, I think. Uh, otherwise, we're just taking a couple of credits and kind of treading water. I'm going to try it. It might not be the best idea in the world, but uh, it's all we've got right now. So draw, draw, sure gamble. Sure gamble. And we'll get rid of misdirection. And this. Now we need to race for our tapworm basically. And they are drawn to, drawing frantically too as well. The race is well and truly on. Uh, we're down to zero points again, so they have that over us. Plus a lot more ways of getting that extra one point that we don't have available to us. Well, there's Tapworm at least. So we'll run archives, take a look at what they've been throwing out. Got rid of the clones and not people. Interesting. Uh, we'll get this down before we lose it. Now let's run HQ. And hopefully we don't lose stem hack. The alternative is we keep plugging at this, uh, breaking with Gordian over and over and over again. And eventually try and wear them, wear them down. Good to know they have another clones, not people. So we'll make good money off Tapworm this turn. Okay, it's happening. And I presume there's going to be a big baddie side game at the end as well. Hmm, MC Informant. Okay, so we're going to lose Beth. Um, but not the biggest deal, I don't think. If we piece in our time, they get five credits, which isn't bad. 
and we will make it back up. Indexing, not not useful, unfortunately. Um, bin that, and last click we will put down a daily gas. So, big times ahead. This could be Gene Splicer. Possibly going to have to do a big stimac run as well. Um, or agendas have to pile up in R&D and HQ. And with the money we're making, we can actually check both. Alrighty, they're going for something anyway. Um, so, they can advance, advance clones and not people, which is a massive issue. Which means I think we have to go for it. And we do have stem hack just in case this goes terribly wrong. Come on, you. Sure. Google, that's going to be a little more annoying. But at the moment, we are even in terms of credit spent. And at least if they use a batty on just an end the run, we can stim hack back in. Now, if it's Gene Splicer, it's going to be more annoying. So this is going to be seven. And then four. That's expensive. Hopefully it's all worthwhile in the end. Could be Gene Splicer after all this, which would be kind of galling, but we had to go for it. Once again, we have a Mark's Batty side game. So they spent two twice. Don't think they're going to do it again, but will they spend zero? Oh, we're in their heads. <laughs> this never happens for me as a runner. Steel Opacata Protocol. It's going to cost us four damage. Has to be done. We lose our stimac, unfortunately. Okay, draw. Uh, draw. Take a credit. So we lost stimac, unfortunately, but we're still in the game. And most importantly, we have taken out two Marcus baddies. Yes, indeed. Two Marcus baddies. Oh, there's two gene splicers in the bin. Okay. Now we are running low on cards as well, so there's the preemptive back, so you just assume Batty Batty and Gene Splicer. Or money, biased reporting, pricing. So now the question is, how do we get the last well it's four points for us that is kind of brutal and we kind of need to keep all the cards we have um if we break are they going to keep re-resing 
we currently do not have an indexing, but there is one coming. Interesting. So now they're pitching economy, which means it might be wise to start breaking this occasionally. Eventually they decide uh, they've had enough of this little game. The challenge will be taxing them enough that we can get an indexing off. Uh, ben, we will indeed trash. Let's just take a credit. Just in case they go for something here, which we'll have to go for. Alternatively, we just uh, sack more things to Shadownet. So this is five, four, four. Everything's really expensive. Hopefully they take a credit, get us another Taproom credit. Hmm, okay, I don't think they can do it this turn. So let's go HQ. Things have to be somewhere. And if we can tax them out elsewhere. Now, does this mean they have nothing in hand? Or are they just sick of trying to res this over and over again? Uh, okay. So now, we've managed to get it a couple of times. Can I tune into their thinking once again? Uh, back to two, one, zero. Oh, we're on form. We're on form. Alrighty, let's go back to HQ again. <laughs> so they're keeping money in case we do try indexing, which is wise. Clones are not people. Uh, do we go again? Taking a tag would be very, very dangerous, so I think we just take a credit. And instead wait for them to make a move. I don't think they can score from a hand. No, were we looking at snare there? If there's an advance, then we have to kind of go for it. Nothing yet. So clones are not people. Mystery card, mystery card. We do have an indexing available to us. So I think we take a poke at HQ and then drift over here and try and lock out the top of R&D. DNA tracker. So hopefully we can just get lucky here instead. Two bacalas in the lane, future perfect. But we have seen a protein source as well. So hopefully we can just find one of those. It marks Betty. Alright, in we go again. Because we know they shuffled a Prysac and a Batty, which could just be the occupi occupants of the scoring server at the moment. Mm. 
Day loop. And that is the card we did not want to see. Okay, let's uh, credit again. Yeah, resing last click is probably wise. Okay, we're on. Now, we have to go for it pretty much because they could just advance, advance, closing our people. If it's data loop, we need extra cards, which unfortunately costs us money. <sighs> so we need to be hitting the end with four cards. If there is data loop, we need to have six cards. So we'll draw once. Hmm. Now, we could index and try for the win that way. There's only nine cards left. Otherwise, we're spending six, 10, 14, 21, 26, plus an unknown for here. If it's not data loop, Apparently we could try an index. But if we go again, they will happily res this and then it's like a one in nine. But at least we'd see half of R&D. So this is my puzzle for you. What would you do here? We can index. Run again, put them on 10. Run again, they might not be able to take loans on our people. So if we index run gives us one shot here but also with no money i think we have to hope for the best we can't get in here one way or the other really so let's index so we will break i think we just eat the damage here save the money This will at least give us knowledge on what half of R&D is. We lose the Mad Dash, but that's going to be less useful. So we need to see a couple of agendas here. Future Perfect marks Batty. Oh, that's not good for us. So now we can run again here. They'll spend two. We can let them draw and shuffle. At the moment, it's a one in nine. It could be one in eight if they decide to just keep it in hand. Or zero and nine, I should say. I don't think we can get in here. That's Ben or anything else, like mine is gonna be five as is, six, seven. Like we can if we sacrifice everything. So maybe we just go for it. Spend four or five here. Six, seven, 14, no, things have to fire. It's either Obacata or Future Perfect. There's a second future perfect in here. I think we're just going to check all the other servers and uh, leave server one and hope for the best. So they can get a res and a shovel here. And Miraju is going to ruin our day, I think. Unfortunately, we still haven't got to show off what Puffer can do. So at the moment, we just have a really expensive setup. Um, that didn't really pay off. Six credits, plus have to install it in a particular order. 
we never did a boost. Just see data loop. So if you run again, they keep future perfect in hand. One, two, three, four, one over there. So maybe one in R and D. I think we have to go for it and hope for the best. They'll keep the future perfect in hand. Hopefully they won't have another one in there. If they do, then I'll uh, leave it to the more mathematical people to work out which is the best course of action. Interesting. So they didn't actually use the draw one card, but they did do the shuffle effect. So now it's a one in 10 shot. Which means we still have a chance. Nope, just DNA tracker. Ah, well, we tried. Uh, please let me know which routes you would have taken in this game because some interesting decisions to be made, I think. And unfortunately, we just went wrong. But uh, it was a fun game. We had a protocol in the end. So we would have been in trouble there. But I hope you all enjoyed it and thank you very much for watching. Fun game, a very long game, so sorry about that. But uh, quite a bit of thinking and battling about it.